Is it still over there? Oh, oh, uh, hey guys, um, I'm Freddy, and I'm not scared. I, I mean, uh, just, just, if anyone asks, uh, tell them I'm not here, and you haven't seen me, okay? Okay. Uh, Freddy? Ah, Freddy, uh, hello. Freddy! Hello, uh, Freddy, tap whoa, the back. Whoa, Freddy. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh hello. Uh, nothing. Hi. Nothing at all. And I'm not scared. You are scared of what? Uh, nothing. I'm not scared of anything. Certainly mm -hmm. not a tiny little lump. Ah, I see it over there. Uh, ah! Oh, um, Freddy? Uh, uh, yeah. What's right there? I I don't see anything. Uh, uh, can't you see? It's, uh, it's staring at us with its bulging beady eyes over there. Uh, Freddy, where? Uh, over there! Freddy? Am I supposed to be looking at a grasshopper? No! Oh, it's found me! It's found me! It's after me! I gotta uh, go! Oh, oh uh, no! Freddy! Freddy! Come back up here! No, what? It's okay! Uh, no! Yeah. No! Oh, oh, hi, Hannah! How's it going? Hi! Well, Freddy, it's a tiny little itty bitty grasshopper! Me? It's not gonna hurt you! What? Oh, you can't trick me! I read today's Bible story, mm -hmm. and it's about how a tiny army defeated a huge army. Yeah. And I learned that you can't trust small things, especially ones that jump. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, when I first saw him, I, huh? I went over there to say hello and to, yeah? and to, and to pick him up, but, but he jumped on me! He was so scary! Uh, okay, well, first of all, yes, our Bible story is about how a small army defeated a big army. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you have to be afraid of all little things. What? I mean, the most important part of the story is that God was with them, and that's why they won. No, I don't know, Hannah. It's just, well, uh... okay, I think I know what to do. Uh, look, no, it's not like I don't like grasshoppers. Okay. I, just, right. I just thought he was scared. Well, that's all. Freddy, what are you doing? say hello what? to the little grasshopper. Hello, little yeah. ah! Why, hello there, Freddy. Uh, uh, hey, you talk. Um, uh, maybe you're not so scary after all. No. Oh, thanks, uh, Hannah. Uh, you know, I think um, I just made a new friend. Uh, uh, Freddy, Freddy, it, it, it talked him. Um, uh, uh, I've talked to uh, <laughs> What's her problem? Oh, you know, I don't really know. Huh. Oh, maybe she, uh, maybe she forgot to turn off the oven. I just remembered. Uh, but anyway, hey, do you want to listen to the Bible story with me? Uh, sure. What's it about? No, oh, it's about how the little guys were in a big battle. And because God's with them. Sounds like my kind of story. Oh, uh, hey, well, put your, put your listening ears on, kid. Because me and my grasshopper friend, we've got a Bible story to listen to. No, oh, bye, guys. Huh. So what do you like to do for fun? Oh, uh, well, sometimes I like to play a little game of cricket. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Miss Ashley, and I get to tell you today's story. It comes from this book, of course. And what's this book called? The, the Bible. Bible. And if it's in the Bible, then we know it's true. It's true. That's right. Now, Freddie already told you a little bit about our story today, but I'm going to tell you all of it. Are you ready? Yeah! Okay, well this story is about a man named Gideon. Everyone say, hi Gideon! Hello Gideon! Well, one day God told Gideon to take an army to defeat these mean guys called the Midianites. The Midianites were super mean, and they didn't like God. Gideon could have been scared, but he trusted that God's way is... Perfect! Perfect! That's right! So he jumped, jumped, and did what God told him to do. Now, the Midianites had a huge army, so Gideon found the biggest army he could find. Do you guys see my army here? Yeah, look at all these army men. <gasps> hey, do you guys want to be in my army too? Yeah! Great! Okay, well, let me see you salute. Good job. Everybody stand up and show me how you march. All right, good job. And show me your strong muscles. Wow, <laughs> you guys are going to be an awesome army. But there was a problem. God told Gideon that his army was too big. Everyone say, what? what? That's right, God told Gideon to ask the soldiers if any of them were scared. If they were, then they could go home. Now, this didn't really make sense to Gideon, but he trusted that God's way is perfect. is perfect. So he asked his army if any of them were scared. And the ones who were, 
they went home. Everybody say, bye soldiers. Bye soldiers. Look, Gideon's armor, army was way smaller now. And Gideon could have been scared to fight the mean Midianites now, but he still trusted God. Well, there was another problem. <laughs> God said that Gideon's army was still too big. Everyone say, what? what? God told Gideon to go down to the river. He said that the soldiers who should take a drink and that anyone who put their faces down in the water should go home. This didn't really make any sense to Gideon, but he trusted that God's way is perfect. So he went down to the river with his army and the ones who put their faces in the water, he sent home. Uh, everybody say, bye soldiers. Bye soldiers. Get all these soldiers off. <gasps> Wow, now Gideon's army was really, really small. Gideon could have been scared now to go fight the Midianites because he didn't have very many soldiers in his army. But Gideon trusted God. When it was time to fight the Midianites, God told Gideon to do something kind of strange, okay? He told, uh, he told him to give his soldiers some interesting weapons. Do you think that God told Gideon to give them... Swords? No, no swords. What about, ooh, what about shields? Nope, not those either. He told Gideon to give his soldiers a clay pot like this and a torch like this and ugh, a trumpet. Hmm. How was Gideon and his army supposed to defeat the Midianites with these? It didn't make any sense, but Gideon trusted that God's way is perfect. perfect. So when the time came, it was late at night. Shh, everyone tiptoe with me, ready? We're gonna tiptoe. Okay. Gideon and his army snuck all the way around the Midianites where they were camping. And then when Gideon gave the signal, they smashed their clay pots and they held up their torches and they played their trumpets. Everybody, play your trumpets with me, ready? The Midianites woke up and thought that a big, huge army was going to attack them. So they ran away. That's right. The big, scary, mean Midianites didn't fight at all. They ran away and Gideon's army won the battle. Everyone say, hooray! Hooray! Gideon could have been scared and really confused because God's way didn't make any sense. But instead, he trusted that God's way is perfect and his army won the battle. Even though they were a small army, they did a big thing because God was with them. And even though you might feel like you're little, you can do big things too because God is with you. We can trust that God's way is perfect, even when we might feel confused or like it doesn't make any sense. Whose way is perfect? God's, God's way, way is, is perfect. perfect. Let's pray. Everybody fold your hands, close your eyes. Dear God, thank you that your way is always perfect, even when we're confused or feel like it doesn't make sense. We know that we can trust you because your way is always the best way. Help us to always go your way. We love you. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. We'll see you later. Bye. Hey kids, my name is Renee and I volunteer here in Adventure Avenue. We had a great time this month learning to jump, jump and go God's way. For one last time this month, let's stand up and sing our song of the month, Perfect, together.
in every single way. So I.